Hello folks and welcome Endeavor OS Plasma filming in the Whalen environment today in 4K. This video is about troubleshooting mouse cursors. Um, have you ever went in here and had an issue installing a mouse cursor from Get New? I'm sure you probably ran into maybe one or two. So I'm going to create an error for you and let you see what I'm talking about and at the same time show you the recovery part of it. We can install mouse cursors manually. I generally use the file manager only for doing that and pick them from here. The four mouse cursors that you get installed with Endeavor OS are these four right here. That's why the trash cans are grayed out and they're installed in USR share icons. When you uh, do the get new thing, it creates a folder for you in your file manager. Uh, I'll go to home for a second and uh, toggle the entry Sam is our user for today. Control L, turn that off, and Control H to show you hidden files and folders. So it's there is no dot icons folder in here, but that's generally where they get installed on all Linux distros. And uh, they're installed only on two locations on all. It's a uh, dot or period icons in your home logged in user and USR share icons. Those are called system wide um, cursors. Well, you can see there's no dot icons folder here. I'm going to have the system created for me. On some systems, you can actually um, find it installed. I'm going to pick a troubled child because the fact is that when things work, people don't really learn very much. But when they have errors, they remember those better. So empty butterfly cursor or empty pixel cursor comes in two flavors. I am not going to use the 32 by 32 because it's too small for me in 30 and 4k mode. But this one uh, I can probably go take a look at and do an install. Now it makes no mention in here about uh, fixing this. So let me show you what I mean by this. You generally would just hit in install and then you would pick a color. Now this cursor comes both for Windows and for Linux. So um, I will pick the top one. It says blue on it. So it's going to install that. And um, at first blush, it looks, I'm not going to do the use, but I could. And uh, I want you to see that that empty butterfly blue is not blue. If I decided to cycle out, or I can just close and reopen, um, you will probably say that it didn't install because based on this. However, what you'll find in your file manager is an extra folder called period or dot icons with that empty butterfly blue already here, even though you can't see it. Again, this video is for troubleshooting. So we open this up and this guy has a readme file here along with the buy me a coffee thing. So using Kate, the text editor, he is asking you to move the folder into dot icons. There's a reason for this. Generally all mouse cursors need a couple things on all Linux distros. They generally need an index theme and a cursor file by default. And that's why that's missing. Right click, copy, backup one, main I dot icons folder, paste. Delete. I don't need the rest of this stuff. This is what I need. The primary folder has to contain generally these two items for it to work. Am I confident enough to say it will? Yes. Are you seeing it now? No, because I had this open. How do you, well, you could close and reopen, but I'm going to cycle this by going to the previous category and then back in there. There is empty butterfly blue right there. That's what it looks like. I can also install these manually through the file manager only in bulk. Getting new cursors not always has a failure, but I was just introducing one today. If I wanted to install these in bulk, I downloaded a whole bunch of these from, uh, I think I got these uh, from the gnome-look.org. They're just cursors. And I'll extract a couple of them that are not trouble childs as they say and I'll do this in bulk 
If I install that empty butterfly cyan, I'll have to fix it just like I did earlier. So that's two folders that are uncompressed. And let's do one more. All right, three folders. I'm going to grab all three and cut them and toss them into dot icons. All right, let's go take a look at these because they're now installed. Shortcut to cursors. This is Pokemon. This is radioactive. That's the name of these cursors and scar. The thing to look for when you're installing and looking at cursors on a plasma desktop, if the trash can is red, that means it's installed in dot icons. If it is gray, it is installed in USR share icons protected by root permissions. Those are what we call system wide installation icons or cursors in this case. That's what you that's why these are grayed out because you can't delete them. I can if I log into my file manager in root mode and go to US or share icons, then I can delete them. I could also put these in there if I wanted to. All right, I have empty butterfly blue. I have one more cursor and I'm just going to continue using Skyrim here for a second. And uh, I have another one in my download folder that was called empty butterfly cyan. So I'm going to extract that one just like I did by installing it normally through my settings. You can see it installs the same way here. And what do I need here? Can I move the whole folder in there? No. If you do, you'll end up with the same problem. Let me try that out for you. Cut and paste. Now I'm going to let you see that the cyan is not available to you because it's not formatted correctly. Empty butterfly blue is here, but there is no empty butterfly cyan. Oh, this is a big, big puppy. All right. We're going to fix that just by cutting this folder directly back out and dumping it right on the screen and then getting rid of this one with the buy me a coffee thing. Empty butterfly cyan and blue are now available for you to play with. So you can go to different uh, websites to download these things um, or you can just go ahead and do the get new, but you may need to fix some of them. Here's uh, the empty butterfly blue and the empty butterfly cyan, just to give you two examples of that. The beauty of this uh, folder of yours is you can dump all of them at the same time if you get tired of these. Why did I switch this? Because I just don't want any glitches while I'm doing this. I'm going to actually empty the trash and then dump the done icons folder. It's gone. It can be recreated at any time, either by you or by the system. Now I'm back to default. If I change my mind, I can dig them out of the trash by doing a restore of the complete folder. Or if I do this individually, I could have done that also. They're back online. Thank you for watching.